This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Anyhow, we can't stop there. We are going to do the bad ending as well. Because why not? I want to see what it's like. So, here she is. She's like, I don't necessarily know if I want to go to the hospital. And we're like, hey, even though we just said you needed to go to the hospital, don't go. Don't leave after all. Let's stay together. You don't need to go to a hospital, alright? Just be with me. It'll be enough. No, it won't. All of a sudden, I'm hugging Mitru tightly. I didn't really expect to get so emotional about this, honestly. My body seems to be moving faster than my mind. Yeah, sorry. Reflex. Oh, she goes to the hospital regardless. It's gonna have some effect on it, I bet. True enough, lost my cool for a moment there. Sorry about that. With one last bright smile, Misha returns to leave. And just like that, the girl disappeared from the dormitory. So the only real difference for that one is that we hugged her instead of kissing her. Watch that have a dramatic impact on the story somehow. Without her, the school felt strangely cold and quiet, like a rain-damp forest in winter. I awaited her return, filling the time with my reading. It was just a week. Only a week. The books I completed formed a pile at my bedside. Just as the tower reached 20 volumes, the principal called me to her office. Intrigue. Something wrong with Michiru? Uh -oh. What happened? The only difference is that we hugged her instead of kissed her. That's literally the only thing that changed. How dramatic of an effect could that have had? I enter the office to find Chizuru unusually hostile. I seat myself on the sofa and stare her straight in the eyes. So tell me, don't sugarcoat it. Something about her illness? I mean, she kind of did that in the regular playthrough, but just, she's like, I'm going to disappear, let my other personality take over. But here she actually flat out tried to kill herself. Man, she really needed that kiss, apparently. Again? Why? Is she alright? Is her life in danger? But... What? What did you just say? Where is Michiru right now? Let me see her! Just tell me where she is, damn it! What's that supposed to mean? Jeez. Well, convenient timing. So this doesn't make any sense in the context of the choice that we made compared to what we made in the good playthrough, but fine, whatever. Damn it all. Michiru? Oh. My gosh. Her eyes are dead. That's frightening. Welcome back. You all right? Think you can walk? Mm. Looks like you went for a lot. Must be tired. Mm. Don't worry. Nothing's changed. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to leave your luggage here. Need anything? Will you be all right by yourself? Yeah. I see. I'll stay with you then. From that day forth, I began to live at Michiru's side. At first, the others were shocked at her complete transformation, but they tried their best to interact with their friend as usual. Unfortunately, Michiru no longer seemed interested. Uh oh.
Watch it, Machina. I think you're aware, but lately this girl seems to be considering any woman who gets too close to me as an enemy. It's a good thing Makina's not a woman, she's just a girl. I mean, yeah? Not a problem. See you later. どこかへお出かけですか? <laughs> hmm, suppose so. Mishiru, my friend, why don't we go on a date today? I'll take you wherever you want to go. That's, uh... That's creepy. <laughs> Her eyes with that expression, that's... that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, this is hard to watch. That she does. Makes me feel pretty good myself. Not a fact? It's kind of strange to hear you say that. But maybe I have changed a little. I slowly walk down the coastal road, leading Michiru alone. She steadily gazes up into the sky at my side. Periodically, she rubs her eyes with her free hand, dazzled by the light. Too bright? Don't stare into the sun. <laughs> Heedless of my warning, she continues to repeat the pattern. What? Hmm? What was that? Partway to our destination, Michiru grabs a plastic bag that was fluttering across the road in the wind. She hugs the ratty piece of trash tightly as if it was a priceless treasure. Oh, jeez. This is far sadder than Sachi's sad ending. She's genuinely mistaken, that white convenience store bag for her black cat. There's a stab of cold pain in my chest, but I shake it off firm I shake it off and firmly stroke Michiru's head. Oh jeez. Michiru closes her eyes in pleasure as I ruffle her hair. It's all I can do. No words come. Yeah. I love you. Oof, seeing her like this is really hard. Smiling happily, Michiru continues playing with her plastic bag. We sit there like this for an hour or so. In the end, I wasn't able to understand her in the slightest. Human beings can never really know each other's feelings, but I had hoped to find my way a little closer than this. Michiru's mind was far deeper and darker a trench than I expected. Her story proved unintelligible, as if written in an unfamiliar, cryptic character. And the key to that cipher is lost to me now. Some part of me must have been clinging to the arrogant belief that I could save her. But in the end, I couldn't do a thing. Not even for a single girl. Hmm? Did you... just say something? Just my imagination? Anyway, it's starting to get chilly out. Let's go back, Michiru. You're a handful, you know that. Guess there's no getting around it. I'll stick with you till the end. For some time after that, Michiru and I gaze out at the sea, and I recall the words she spoke to me here once. When I'm up here, it feels like I can see all the way to the ends of the earth. But here we are, so very close, and I can't even make out the entrance to her heart. 
But when I reach out my hand, Michiru's there. She hasn't changed. Or that hasn't changed. That won't change. Seems like I finally stumbled into a calmer way of life. We'll go on together, just the two of us. No. The three of us, I suppose. Well, that was depressing! I mean, this game is kind of depressing for a variety of reasons. Okay, so, Michiru's route is officially done now. I would say, on the whole, it was definitely enjoyable to the extent that a lot of the a lot of the parts where it was delving deep into the characters and their backstories was really cool to read. It was definitely a lot of raging going on with the characters and their decisions and their thought processes, but eh, that's kind of inevitable in a game like this. Not where I would have taken the story at the end. Everything starting with this, the, the beginning of this stream, with Yuji reading the diary and then being like, I know, I'll kill Michiru, but not really, but kind of, but not really, but she might have died, but I probably won't happen. Like, that was, that was horrible. I definitely did not expect us to go to America to talk to the heart transplants girl's parent, or mom, which was, that was interesting, I enjoyed that. I think I would have done more with Michiru's actual parents, because they were kind of important to the story, and then they just disappeared after the flashback. Also, definitely would have given a name to Girl from the Flashback and Heart Transplant Girl. Don't know why they didn't do that. But besides that, there was some good writing there. Okay, well, with that said, Michiru's route is finished. Out of the, out of the three remaining routes, I am definitely not doing Makina's route. Like, I, I can't do that. I'm almost certainly not going to do Amine's route, because that doesn't interest me at all. I probably will do Yumiko's route in the future, but just like after the Sachi route, I'm going to need to take a break, because there's only so much Grisea I can take at a time. So I'll have to find another series to replace this Grisea Saturday series. Hopefully something more lighthearted and not M-rated. And it'll be cool. Also, tomorrow is Halloween. I will be doing a special Halloween stream tomorrow. It's hopefully going to start at around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Might start a little later, depending on how quickly I can get back home after church. But we will be playing a very special game tomorrow. It's a spooky one, as fitting for Halloween. And if you like Grisea, I think you'll probably like this one. It's another visual novel. Pretty famous one, pretty spooky one. Yeah, I think you guys can kind of get the idea of what it's going to be. It's going to be f it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be unforgettable to say the least. All right, I'll leave it there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend and God bless.